Generative AI is everywhere. People are using AI to write essays, generate images, create videos, have a conversation, and so much more. Which got me wondering, can AI help me build my smart home? I thought it'd be fun to test the ability of OpenAI's ChatGPT and Google's Gemini to create smart home automations. We can compare the results between the two and see if they actually work. Let's do this. If you follow the channel, then you know I enjoy automating stuff around my home. Making my washer and dryer send me an alert when they're done. The dryer is done. Adjusting the air conditioning and heating, depending on who is home or if a door or window is open. Making my lights adjust their brightness and color temperature, depending on the sun's position in the sky. You can check out my other videos on that. But all of those smart home automations, I had to create myself. What if someone or something could create them for me. I'm going to give five of the exact same prompts to ChatGPT 3.5 and Google Gemini and see if either one is good enough to automate my smart home. I'm using Home Assistant as my smart home hub. So to really put these to the test, I'm gonna ask them to write the YAML configuration for smart home automations. The prompts I will give will get increasingly more complex as we go and I'll show you how fast they respond in real time. For fun, I'll also give an arbitrary score to each model to see which one is best. The first prompt is to write the YAML code for a smart home automation to close the garage door if I forgot to close it and nobody is home. The first thing I notice with ChatGPT is just how quick it is. The response is immediate. Looking at the response itself, I like how it includes instructions like remembering to use the correct entity name and where you can customize it to suit your preferences like how long to wait before triggering the automation. On the condition, I believe you could also use the cover entity for your garage door and check if the state of the cover is open. Of course, the trigger does not consider if there are multiple device trackers that need to be factored in or how to account for those in a home without some devices with certain people. But overall, this did a decent job. Here, we see that Gemini takes longer to respond, roughly five seconds compared with one second or less with ChatGPT. The next thing I notice is how the two have taken a different approach to the trigger. ChatGPT had the automation trigger based on the location of a device tracker, whereas Gemini triggers based on the state of the garage door or presence detection using a template sensor. Likewise, the condition from Gemini seeks to confirm that the garage door is open and that no one is home after a certain time interval. Gemini also includes more instruction to adapt your devices and preferences not only with inline guidance, but quite a bit of notes beneath the YAML configuration. It even has a warning about safety when closing the garage door. While the template sensor would need additional knowledge to adapt to your smart home, I like that Gemini considered how presence detection is more than just the location of a single device tracker. I'll give one point to each model for generally usable automation, plus one additional point to ChatGPT for just being faster, and one point to Gemini for a more thoughtful response. All right, the next prompt is to write the YAML code for a smart home automation to turn the kitchen lights on when someone enters the room, and it's between 6.45 a.m. and 11 p.m., and to turn the kitchen lights off if no presence is detected in the kitchen for 10 minutes. ChatGPT crushes this request with an instant response, but it doesn't really peel the onion on presence detection, using the same generic binary sensor for presence on and presence off. Using passive infrared motion or millimeter wave for both lights on and lights off has its downsides, and that kind of nuance is not reflected here. But ChatGPT does give two workable and simple automations for turning the lights on and off during the requested time intervals. Now, Gemini took its time with about six seconds to respond. I also noticed it responded in phases versus giving everything all at once. It gave me everything up until light turn on service, paused briefly, and then continued and stopped with a half-written entity ID for the light in the very last line before resuming and finishing that out, which was a bit curious. Gemini also took an unexpected approach with the configuration. The automation is triggered by motion or time of day with a condition to only turn on the light before or after sunset, something that I did not request or want. Like ChatGPT, it uses the same sensor for lights on and off, but specifies that it is a motion sensor. 
I also think that home and not underscore home are atypical states for a motion sensor. I'm gonna give one point to ChatGPT for overall speed and usability, but no points to Gemini because it added a condition I did not request and ignored conditions that I did request. All right, next is to write the YAML code for a smart home automation to remind me to take the trash out every Thursday night at 8 p.m. and continue to remind me every 15 minutes until I dismiss the reminder by scanning an NFC tag with my iPhone. Once again, ChatGPT responded within one second or less. We can see it provided two automations, one for the weekly reminder and one for dismissing the reminder by scanning an NFC tag. I like how the notify service is specific to iPhone as I request it and includes a title and message. I'm a little confused though by its second automation for dismissing the reminder. It appears to say if the NFC tag is scanned, check to see if the first automation for the main reminder is on, and if it is, then turn it off, but then wait 15 minutes and turn it back on again. However, I want it to dismiss the reminder if I scan the NFC tag. Gemini took about six seconds to respond this time, slow, slightly longer than the first scenario, and a lot slower than ChatGPT. Once again, we see the different approach taken by Gemini versus ChatGPT. The notify service is not specific to my iPhone as requested, and the message does not include a title, but these are harmless. Gemini uses a loop command for the reminder every 15 minutes, which honestly, I have never seen before. I'm used to seeing something like a repeat or a sequence command. Gemini also includes the configuration template for the NFC tag in addition to the two automations, one for the reminder and one for dismissing it. The actual configuration of both automations is a bit different, but it's just a reminder that you can configure automations differently and still get more or less the same outcome. I'll give one point to ChatGPT for being super fast and providing a better notify service configuration. Gemini also gets one point, and that's for just better understanding my automation intent. Next is to write the YAML code for a smart home automation to display an image of the front doorbell camera on my Sony TV when a person is detected by the front doorbell camera and send a push notification to my iPhone with the image from the front doorbell camera and announce on my Echo device that someone is at the front door, but only if it's not between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. ChatGPT, of course, responded right away. The YAML configuration is decent, but a couple things that I notice. The binary sensor shown for detecting motion is not necessarily specific to person detection. The entire automation has the condition to only run before 1 p.m. or after 3 p.m., but I only wanted that condition for the action to make an announcement on the Echo. I don't think the notification to the TV would work as written without a supported integration. And this time, ChatGPT does not provide any additional explanation or guidance text, either inline or at the bottom, that would help you adapt to your smart home devices. This was the slowest reply yet for Gemini, at about seven seconds. I like how Gemini uses a person detection sensor to trigger the automation, but it failed on the conditions, doing the opposite of what I requested. The entire automation would run only between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m., but my request was to only announce on the Echo device that someone is at the front door if it's before 1 p.m. or after 3 p.m., which is when my kids are napping. I also found Gemini's image URL less clear than ChatGPT. Both models get zero points in this round for failing to provide the condition as requested, but I recognize that may come down to how I worded my request. Finally, write the YAML code for smart home automation to send me an actionable push notification to my iPhone, asking if I'd like to arm the alarm with options to select either arm away mode or ignore, but only send me the actionable push notification if the alarm is disarmed and nobody is home. While it replied instantly, ChatGPT bombed this one. The automation proposed is triggered when the alarm is set to away, which is the opposite of my request. If it's already in away mode and nobody is home, why do I need a push notification asking if I'd like to arm the alarm? ChatGPT also does not consider the requirements to build an actionable push notification. In my experience, you need multiple automations for this to work. Ironically, this was the fastest that Gemini responded, about three seconds, when it was meant to be the most complex. It uses two triggers, one for alarm state and one for person state, but only specifies what state the alarm should be in. It then has a condition for the person state and not the alarm state. I found this approach to both the trigger and the condition a little bit curious. 
I believe this was the first time that Gemini included a title along with the message, not sure why. What was cool is that Gemini understood additional automations are needed to respond to the action buttons in the push notification, something JetGPT missed. I wanted Gemini to give me those additional automations, so I sent a follow-up reply requesting them, which it then provided in about three seconds. ChatGPT gets no points for the second round in a row, and Gemini gets one point for understanding that additional automations were needed for the actual push notification to work. So the final score is a tie, ChatGPT 4 and Gemini 4. So what are my takeaways from this, and is AI ready to build your smart home? First, neither AI model is perfect at writing YAML configurations for smart home automations. Sometimes they get it right, sometimes they're just dead wrong. If you're working in Home Assistant to build your smart home automations and looking for some guidance, well, ChatGPT or Gemini may help point you in the right direction, but take the replies with a pinch of salt. Second, ChatGPT is hands down faster than Gemini. Depending on the scenario, it was up to seven times faster. While Gemini's responses generally slowed as the request got more complex, ChatGPT always responded instantly, regardless of how complex I thought the request was. I should point out that ChatGPT and Gemini take different approaches to displaying their responses. ChatGPT responds instantly by displaying each line in real time as it responds, whereas Gemini waits and then provides replies in batches. Third, it's a reminder that there isn't only one way to write a YAML configuration for a smart home automation. You can take different approaches and still get more or less the same outcome. I don't think AI is ready to fully automate your smart home, but it can be useful if you're looking for a bit of guidance on how to write your smart home automations. Just know that their guidance may be a bit misguided. Hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.